Welcome to a new part in this series and in this part you will implement the movement system. Now, um, let's begin by adding some stuff to our vector3.h file. So um, we will add a new function. Sorry, h. Yes, so we will add a new function and it will return a vector3 and you can call this and vector tree which will essentially take two vectors so two vectors tree vector a and vector tree vector b so this function it will take two vectors and it will add them quite simply now for the implementation it will be quite simple so simply do Vector three and vector three, vector three, vector A and vector B. Okay, and this will be very straightforward. Simply do vector three, new vector, new vector dot x equals vector a dot x plus vector b dot x and this pretty much it and simply copy this line oh god copy this line three times two times only and then change the x to Twice. and then change this to C's okay and then simply return the new vector okay now go to entity.h and we will implement three new variables namely the variables for the velocity and what the, the velocity is and basically tells us how much um, an object moves or scales down or rotates uh, per update cycle um, so simply do this so uh, in the private variable section let's create the first variable velocity and this is actually the velocity which will apply to the position and then uh, an another an vector tree and this will be the rotation or let's do the scale velocity first so scale velocity so this velocity applies to the scale and then vector 3 underscore rotation velocity and this velocity will apply to the rotation now Let's create the setters and getters. So here are the setters and getters. They are quite straightforward. And here is the implementation. Again, it is very straightforward. There is nothing new here. Now, one thing in your initialization list, make sure to do the following. In the score velocity, make a vector tree, and we will initialize them with all zero then the scale velocity scale velocity let's make vector three again zero on everything and lastly oh well looks like Oops. Yeah, okay. And lastly, our, our rotation velocity, which again will be with all zeros. Okay. Just make, yeah, no code in there. Now let's create a new class. And name this movement system. 
Okay, then go to movement system dot h. Okay, um, then first include include our vector tree dot h and also include jlf3 jlf slash jlf dot 3 sorry I mean jlw3 dot h yes okay then let's create a class movement system and then um, this will be a singleton class so let's create our private and for now we will have here our movement system so our initializer and our structure for now they will be empty but let's make them then public we will have our static get move movement system sorry static move movement system at get movement system and that and then our static void destroy destroy movement system okay now uh, one more public method and this will be a void update and make sure to include our entity class how could I forget that so include entity dot h and make sure to add our argument entity entity like this okay now in movement system .cpp, here is the basic implementation um, so the singleton constructors and these structures uh, again make sure it's a static variable and uh, there is an asterisk before you return it and everything uh, it should be quite straightforward now now for the more interesting methods the update method so void movement system update entity entity yeah so uh, what we do is we do the following we do entity and we do this we do entity set for example position and then we do the following um, we do um, add vector tree entity get position and entity get velocity so every time we call this method we will add the values in the velocity to the values in the position so now let's continue this so now entity um, do set rotation and vector tree entity get rotation and entity get rotation velocity and let's do the scale in between just take a distance entity set scale add vector tree entity get scale and entity get scale velocity so every time we simply take the values in our velocity vector 
and we added the two actual position vectors as obviously the, the value in our velocity vectors will be something very small okay um, yeah now in gamevariable.h let's create a new variable and you can name this uh, first of all let's include our movement system so include movement system which by the way we will obviously expand greatly in the future this is a very simple implementation for it um, yeah movement system underscore movement system now for the actual implementation uh, first of all let's create it so movement system add movement system get movement system quite simple now um, make sure to do this before you actually and uh, before we actually render it we will update it so simply do movement system uh, update entity like this now let's grind this out so um, let's first of all um, make sure the position is simply all zeros and you can keep the rotation and your preferred scale uh, but let's now set our simple velocity so simply do entity set velocity make vector tree and let's make it move on the sides so simply do 0 dot 0 f on for the x and all zeros on the other ones like this now let's run this and if you look our cube is moving and clipping there's no problem now let's give it a negative so negative 0 dot 0 1 and now it moves in the other direction um, let's also give it an up movement and now it moves up also and and I guess this is the uh, and a minus 0, 0, 1 so it will move backwards now also voila quite cool now um, let's only keep or add like a zero to everything so the actual movement will be will be very slight um, then the entity set rotation velocity then make vector 3 and remember these are the degrees so we can be we can add like 1 now so it's like one on the first, only the first, yeah. So one for the for the x and zero for the x uh, for the y and z. And now it will also rotate. So it now rotates and moves like very slightly. Pretty cool. Um, let's like now give it also a velocity on the y for the rotation. Now it rotates like this, and it's like give uh, like slightly more movement with the uh, on the x. So that's pretty cool, as you can see. Yeah. Um. What else? Uh, yeah, let's also play around with the scale now. So give it entity uh, set scale velocity and make vector three. Yeah, make vector three and um, um, yeah, do like zero dot zero 
1f for the x and all the rest will, will get will get um, zeros so let's try this out and now it's like slightly growing which is pretty cool actually so yeah this is our basic implementation for the movement system now there's actually a slight problem which we'll fix in the next episode um, sorry uh, as you can see uh, we don't have control over uh, how often this final loop is called so because of that um, our movement update is is inconsistent so we should, should implement some sort of of timer so we can control the amount of uh, updates we have so yeah that's for the next episode and yeah i hope you like this and see you next time